Welcome back to our calculus series. In our previous video, we covered the foundations of differential equations and explored the method of separation of variables. Today, we're going to discuss the actual equation that Jacob Bernoulli encountered. y dash minus 2 over x times y equals y squared over x cubed. This is the equation that truly resisted separation of variables and forced Bernoulli to develop an entirely new technique. His solution to this specific problem led to what we now call Bernoulli differential equations, a whole class of equations and methods that bear his name. Today, we're going to see what happens when separation of variables fails. We're going to discover how Bernoulli overcame this obstacle with a revolutionary strategy called variation of parameters. This is the story of Bernoulli equations and how we solve the unsolvable. Let's look more closely at this equation y dash minus 2 over x times y equals y squared over x cubed. Why was this so difficult? What made it different from the equations that could be solved with separation of variables? The old method fails. Bernoulli's first instinct was to use the method he had learned from Leibniz, separation of variables. After all, this method had just proven so powerful in solving many equations. He tried to isolate the x terms by dividing the entire equation by y squared. Starting with y dash minus 2 over x times y equals y squared over x cubed, dividing every term by y squared. y minus 2 times y dash minus 2 over x times y minus 1 equals y minus 2 x cubed. But it was no use. An x term remained stubbornly on the left side, and moving it just brought a y term to the right. The variables refused to separate. This equation was fundamentally different from anything Leibniz's method could handle. Look at this term right here, minus 2 over x times y to the negative 1. This term prevents separation. It mixes x and y in a way that cannot be untangled using simple algebraic manipulation. No matter how Bernoulli tried to rearrange the equation, this term kept him from getting all the x's on one side and all the y's on the other. For a moment, it seemed the problem was truly unsolvable, but Bernoulli was no ordinary mathematician. He was about to have a brilliant insight, one that would change the course of differential equations forever. Here is the brilliant insight that changed everything. What if we broke the problem into two parts? What if, for a moment, we completely ignored the difficult part? Let me explain the strategy. We're going to temporarily set the right side of the equation to zero. We'll create what mathematicians call a homogeneous equation, a simplified version of the original. Original equation, y dash minus 2 over xy equals y squared over x cubed. Simplified homogeneous equation, y dash minus 2 over xy equals zero. Why does this help? Because this simplified version we can solve using separation of variables. And crucially, and this is the key to understanding Bernoulli's genius, solving it will give us the underlying form of the true solution. Think of it like this. By ignoring the complicated part, we discover the skeleton of the answer. And then we'll use that skeleton to build the complete solution that satisfies the full equation. This technique is called variation of parameters, and it's one of the most elegant problem-solving strategies in all of mathematics. This simplified equation is easily solved with separation of variables. Let me walk you through each step carefully, because this solution gives us the vital clue to the structure of the final answer. Step 1. Rewrite the equation using Leibniz notation. Starting with y dash minus 2 over xy equals 0, we move the second term to the right side dy over dx equals 2 over xy. Step 2. Separate the variables. Now we isolate all y terms on the left and all x terms on the right. Integral dy over y equals integral 2 over x dx. Step 3. Integrate both sides. On the left side, the integral of 1 over y is the natural logarithm. Integral dy over y equals ln y. On the right side, the 2 comes out as a constant, and the integral of 1 over x is also the natural logarithm. Integral 2 over x dx equals 2 ln x. So we have ln y equals 2 ln x plus c. Step 4. Simplify using logarithm properties. We use the logarithm property that n ln equals ln a to the power n. So 2 ln x equals ln x squared. 
ln y equals ln x squared plus c. Step 5. Exponentiate both sides to remove the logarithm. We raise e to the power of both sides. e to the ln y equals e to the ln x squared plus c. The left side simplifies because e to the ln y equals y. The right side can be split using the exponent rule e to the a plus b equals e to the a times e to the b. y equals e to the ln x squared times e to the c. Since e to the ln x squared equals x squared, y equals x squared times e to the c. Step 6. Express as a general form. Since e to the c is just another arbitrary constant, we replace it with c. y equals c times x squared. This is our solution to the simplified problem. Notice the form. It's a constant multiplied by x squared. This form, y equals c times x squared, is absolutely crucial. This is the skeleton we mentioned. This is the underlying structure that will guide us to the complete solution. Now comes the revolutionary idea. The solution, y equals cx squared, perfectly solves the simplified problem. But remember, we ignored the right side of the original equation to create this simplified version. To account for what we ignored, we need to make one radical change. What if the constant c is not a constant at all, but a function of x? Instead of y equals c times x squared, we try y equals c of x times x squared. We replace the constant c with a function c of x that depends on x. This technique is known as variation of parameters. The idea is brilliant in its simplicity. We keep the overall form of the solution, but we allow the constant to vary. This variation, this flexibility, will enable us to satisfy the original equation, including all the parts we temporarily ignored. It's like saying, we know the skeleton of the answer has the form x squared, but instead of multiplying by a fixed number, what if we multiply by a changing function? The answer is that this flexibility gives us exactly what we need to solve the complete problem. Now we need to find what c of x actually is. To do that, we substitute our new form, y equals c of x times x, back into the original Bernoulli equation. But first, we need to find the derivative of y. Since y equals c of x times x, this is a product of two functions, so we use the product rule. Using the product rule, where u equals c of x and v equals x squared, y dash equals c prime of x times x squared plus c of x times 2x. Now, we substitute both our expression for y and our expression for y dash back into the full original Bernoulli equation. Recall the original equation was y dash minus 2 over xy equals y squared over x cubed. Substituting y dash equals c prime of x times x squared plus 2xc of x and y equals c of x x squared parentheses c prime of x x squared plus 2xc of x minus 2 over x times c of x x squared equals parentheses c of x x squared squared. The result looks terribly complex. We have derivatives of c, products of c with x, and all sorts of terms intermingled. It seems like we've made the problem worse, not better. But hold on, something magical is about to happen. This complexity is not a dead end, it's the doorway to the solution. This is the moment the entire strategy pays off. This is why Bernoulli's method works. Look carefully at the left side of the equation we just substituted. Parentheses, c prime of x x squared plus 2x c of x minus 2 over x times c of x x squared. Let's expand that second term. We multiply minus 2 over x by c of x x squared. Minus 2 over x times c of x x squared equals minus 2 times c times x. So our left side becomes c prime of x x squared plus 2x c of x minus 2x c of x. And now something beautiful happens. The middle terms cancel. Plus 2x c of x minus 2x c x equals 0. They vanish completely. c prime of x x squared equals y squared over x cubed. What remains on the left is simply c prime of x x squared. What remains on the right is the right side of our original equation, simplified. This cancellation is not a coincidence. It's by design. By choosing the specific form y equals c of x x squared derived from our homogeneous equation, we ensured that the non-varying terms would cancel out perfectly. This is the genius of variation of parameters. It automatically eliminates the terms that would get in our way, leaving us with only the terms we need. After the miraculous cancellation, 
we're left with a much simpler equation. C prime of x, x squared, equals C of x squared times x. Let's divide both sides by x. C prime of x, x, equals C of x squared. And dividing both sides by x again. C prime of x equals C of x squared divided by x. Now here's the remarkable part. This is another differential equation. And it's not just any differential equation. It's one that can be solved with separation of variables, the very technique we started with. Our journey comes full circle. Using Leibniz notation, dc by dx equals c squared by x. Step 1. Separate the variables. We move all c terms to the left and all x terms to the right. Integral dc by c squared equals integral dx by x. Step 2. Integrate both sides. On the left side, we integrate c to the negative 2 with respect to c. Integral c to the negative 2 dc equals negative 1 over c. On the right side, we integrate 1 over x with respect to x. Integral 1 over x dx equals ln x. Combining negative 1 over c equals ln x plus a, where a is an arbitrary constant of integration. Step 3. Solve for c of x. c of x equals negative 1 over ln x plus a. We have found it, the function c of x that allows us to solve the original Bernoulli equation. The monster is slain. The Bernoulli equation is solved. With our function c of x finally found, we substitute it back into our form y equals c of x x squared to get the final solution to the original problem. The substitution. y equals negative 1 over ln x plus a x squared. Multiplying through, y equals negative x squared over ln x plus a. This is the general solution to Jacob Bernoulli's equation, y equals negative x squared over ln x plus a, where a is an arbitrary constant determined by initial conditions. Jacob Bernoulli's clever method of varying the parameter became a cornerstone technique in differential equations. This entire class of equations, equations that follow a similar nonlinear form where you have powers of y appearing nonlinearly, now bears his name, Bernoulli Differential Equations.